Hello everyone. Years ago, I created a Chrome extension for the VPML because as you know, VPML's or native auto translation is sucks and it's ass and they refuse to develop it. I think uh, they just want to steal people's credit or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they are thinking. Anyway, so I, cre I created this to solve that problem and first I made this with like uh, GPT-4 and after that GPT-4.0 and GPT-4.1 and I was updating manually and stuff but now uh, it has tons of features and you can select any model from OpenAI and any model from Open Router. okay so it's pretty easy to install too so let's uninstall it so if you guys don't know and you need to open the extension manage extensions because this is not published on the chrome store for obvious reasons <laughs> uh, load package just double out the zip okay from the description i will put the link and then that's it now you have the extension ready so i need to paste my api let's test the open ai first and after that i will show the open router as well okay i got my open ai key the soon as you pass your open ai key all the model will load dynamically okay all the models so my recommendation is uh, selecting a smart model okay select a big and smart model it is a little bit expensive but you know when you are translating a website it, it is not like a translating a book it is just 10 page 20 page text 30 page text it's nothing like it's cheap so that's why select the gpt5 <laughs> yeah it is an expensive model for sure but i mean it, it is cheap guys come on let me show you the model card so you guys can see the prices here okay i mean it's nothing you don't see ten dollar okay it, this is for million tokens the million tokens adds up to like three hundred thousand word uh yeah something like that okay so it is it is pretty cheap you usually just pay like couple couple bucks and after that uh, of course you use that advanced uh, trans translation editor this shit fucking ui and by the way these days they they just recently added the new user interface i didn't add my extension like support for this new ui yet because i don't have to i still like the old ui i, I don't know for some reason I, I i don't like this but later on i will add uh, for this new ui support too but when this opens just click that use the old one don't send them anything don't need to give feedback i like old or just send them this feedback why not <laughs> and open the old classic editor okay and after that you will see a couple buttons uh, this is for single translate so when you click that it will translate it if it is a unique name it will just use the exactly same name most of the time okay i mean not bad not bad so it doesn't click to enter okay as you get as you guys can see it is still like not translated it is black there's a, a border here you can see uh, translated ones has like uh, green two quads kind of color when you click enter done so there is a system prompt i updated the system prompt it is much 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 better now it was uh, pretty basic and simple before and it was creating some issues with really short names or words so it was making like longer oh this is the word and this is the translation like it is long text it was stupid before this new system prompt a little bit better but of course now you can edit it before it wasn't possible it was just um let me see the the thing yeah it was just this like key input before now it has much more settings and you can fine tune your model and system prompt easily so that's that and 
this is the single translations but if you want to translate like automatically just click the all translate all buttons which model we are using gpt5 little bit slow by the way like some of the models are tiny bit slow so that's why if you are like you are not translating a hard language uh, what i mean is like the, these models are trained with the internet okay so if if your language is not in the top 10 or top 20 like most used languages in the internet so it uh, small models will have some issues uh, if that is the case use a big model but if your language is top 10 uh, or top 20 you can use mini models like medium size like gpt5 mini maybe okay or like gemini 2.5 flash actually let's test that let's stop it stop okay nice and i'm gonna add my open router key let's test the open router as well save it and after that now with the open router there are free models as well so i usually don't use free models because most of them like small size or medium size even they are big they are rate limited okay for example k2 is perfect like great but because it is free it is rate limited it gets slow in time i mean you can use it if if you if you are patient uh, you can wait fine i mean use these free models okay this is the biggest advantage for some people like if you don't if you don't want to pay anything now you can use this tool as well okay and let's select the gemini flash 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 yeah flash let's save it good let's refresh this just just in case let's refresh the page if anything like gets buggy if you click nothing happens and stuff like if, if it gets buggy just refresh the editor okay because this is rendering real time like this editor too actually so let's click from here we don't have to click because when you click like translate all it starts from the selected place okay so let's come down here click that again and now yeah look at that i mean it, it's not even comparable with the gpt5 open most of the open ai models are too slow look at the speed so the the speed like depends on the model as you can as you guys can see it's all about the model okay so that's it and then save it complete and this page is done that's it it is pretty simple okay and let's make this vpmm and i will update this github uh, i think i will add like releases re zips here too so it could i can release it easily like uh, to this day i was making a button uploading the zip to my site and stuff <laughs> i don't want to do that anymore and now now it has like github i start to update this and i think it is great so enjoy using have fun okay bye